How does the love for your pet help you attract a soulmate? By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how. For the best advice on helping you manifest your soulmate, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you get notified every single Thursday when I post a new video. I've helped thousands of individuals increase their love vibration and manifest their highest potential soulmate. And now it's your turn, so let's dive in. Your pet loves you unconditionally, and here's how that love for you helps you to attract more love and your highest potential soulmate partnership. First off, your pet loves you exactly as you are. I guarantee you that your pet does not love you more or less based on the amount of money you have or how much weight you gain or weight you lose or what general body shape you have. Your pet does not care about your social standing or the belongings in your household. It's really simple. They just love you. And because of this, they love you for who you are exactly as you are. And this is a real skill to be able to learn to accept from other people. Somehow when we get involved with other people, that's when we start to put pressure on ourselves that we have to lose weight, look different, act different in order to get the love. But I wanna remind you that if you have a pet, they love you exactly the way that you are right now. So if it's good enough for them, it's also good enough for your soulmate. Your pet teaches you how to be loved for being the real you. Your pet shows you how to live in the present moment, how to have joy, and how to have fun and enthusiasm for life. At any given moment, when you're feeling sad or grumpy or tired, your pet can do something silly or loving and totally shift your mood and bring you into the space of happiness, joy, and love. The ability to help you shift out of that allows you to see how really easy it is for you to refocus your emotions and stay in a more positive frame of mind. They teach you how to live in the present moment. And this is so important in relationships because going into your past and your whole story and your relationship history is never going to be as important as living in the present moment with your partner. And some people actually get too involved with planning for the future and projecting themselves so far out that they're also missing the present moment. Your pets teach you how to live in the present moment. And this is a vital step to you being all here, all now, with all of your energy to attract your most compatible and highest potential soulmate. Your pet teaches you how to unplug from daily concerns and how to feel joy right here, right now with the simplest little thing. And because of this, you're exuding an energy of joy and love and appreciation. And this is like a signal that literally gets sent out and broadcasts your emotions out into the world to help you attract someone that is meant for you. Your pet depends on you. And because of this, you actually build trust with your pet. They count on you to come home, to walk them, to clean up after them, and to feed them. So they trust you. They trust you're gonna come home to them. And you trust them too. You trust them to wake you up, to protect you, to be there when you get home, to snuggle with you, and to provide you with all the unconditional love that they're always there and available to give to you. In fact, they're eager to give it to you. Pets don't restrict their love or hold back. They're always showing up in their best self to give you as much love as they have. And this is what teaches you how to trust in that love and how to trust another and also be trustworthy yourself. So this is a very important lesson for relationship building and for attracting somebody in that's trustworthy, that you can trust and that you can be trusted with. Comment below right now if your pet love has already helped you attract your soulmate. Put it down in the comments below. Your pet also teaches you how to forgive. When they have chewed up something or left a mess in the house, you simply clean up after them and forgive them. You don't spend time holding a grudge or resenting them for being a pet or for misbehaving. So pets teach you that it's possible for you to forgive and move forward. 
You see how easy it is to do with a pet, but yet when it comes to human interaction and relationships, we tend to really wanna make the other person wrong and hold on to that resentment and that grudge. What our pets teach us is how to easily move forward, that you can do this, that this can be much easier than you've ever thought possible, and that you can use the same skills that you use with your beloved pets with your human relationships, which will really allow your relationships to thrive and stay in a healthier vibration. Your pet also teaches you what a real emotional bond feels like. And yes, that you are capable of it. When you're spending time loving and nurturing your pet, your heart expands and your energy softens to really fill up on that unconditional love between you and them. So this is not just a gift for you because they're loving you, but this is also showing you what you're capable of, that you are capable of loving this way, that you are capable of softening your energy, opening your energy, and being more available for love. When you're bonding with your pet, you feel very soul connected, very intuitive with each other. You can read each other's thoughts and moods. And this also helps you to become aware that you can do that with a partner. Anytime you have a very, very close trusting bond, you'll be able to intuitively read each other and know when and how to show up for each other. So pets teach you how to be more soul connected with your human partner. Loving a pet actually teaches you how to love another person. While most humans really aren't capable of unconditional love, we are learning it from our pets at all times. And it helps prepare us and help us improve in our ability to love. Now, it's not important that you love another person unconditionally because obviously you wanna have some boundaries that are healthy for yourself. But who you can love unconditionally is yourself. And this helps you hold a very, very high vibration for bringing in your highest potential soulmate relationship. Humans aren't supposed to love you unconditionally. It's still something that we're learning. So when somebody has let you down by not loving you unconditionally, use the other lesson your dog taught you. Forgive them quickly and move forward back into a space of love. Show up exactly as you are. Be available for love, be in joy, be in the present moment, be forgiving, and truly connect with your partner. Loving your pet has been helping you increase your love vibration all along. All you have to do is point it in the right direction to bring in your relationship. And the final tip is make sure that when you do, that they also love your pet as much as you do. It is imperative that if you are a pet lover, and I know you are, that your partner also loves pets. If you've attracted somebody that does not love pets, this is not a soulmate relationship for you because your most ideal, highest potential partner will have that in common with you. You will have a very compatible home life filled with love for each other and the pets in the home. Now you know exactly how your love for your pet can help you to manifest your highest potential partner and attract your soulmate. I've written a guide to help you heal from broken relationships, mend your heart, and attract your soulmate. Download the guide at the link below down in the description. Make sure you also check out the other videos that I have on pets and manifesting love. If you like this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.